Hello, family. Uh, coming to you uh, to tell you um, uh, I just left my knees with the father. Uh, I think I know what the time of shedding means. The time of shedding has come. For the whole earth, uh, people are finna start dying in massive, massive numbers. The Lord said, my people know my voice and another they would not hear. And this is what he meant by that. God said he had been warning and he's been warning and he's been warning and he's been warning. Oh, and we didn't take him serious. We didn't take him serious. People uh, play play church. They don't repent. They uh, become self righteous. They have become corrupt. <laughs> oh my God! People are finna start dying in massive cataclysms. Things unimaginable so frightening the earth is like what I saw in my spirit is like the earth itself is gonna rise up in judgment against the people like the ground breaking up the ground opening up and 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 water water I saw I saw the angels I said I begin to pray uh, uh, as I can see these things happening mm. my spirit man was praying and I could make out some of what the Holy Spirit was saying I could not make out all of it but I can make out this much I begin to say Lord send the angels take the little ones take the little ones Take the little ones up out of here. They're not going to understand this. They're going to be so afraid. Take the little ones. Take the babies. Take the little ones and take the babies. As my Holy Spirit was praying, my Holy Spirit started, I think, it started reminding me or telling the Father something about Ezekiel. In Ezekiel, when he said he saw two angels standing by the river of Chibar, and they was in fine linen, and one had a one had a, a, a scroll, and he was writing in the scroll. I don't find this and read it to you guys. He was writing in the scroll, and he said, "Go and seal those uh, with the seal of the Father in their foreheads." And the angel went between the land, and he sealed all of those. That was righteous with the seal of the Father in their foreheads. And when he was done, he came back and he told him, the man that was all white, he said, I have sealed all of the people in their foreheads. And then he said to him, now go in the land and kill everyone who does not have this, the seal of the Father in their foreheads. And women and children, everybody and I can hear my spirit praying this and I can hear the conversation like I could understand just bits of it as the Holy Spirit was speaking to the Father and they was talking about this event in the Bible. And I think this time is on us. God is about to seal his people in his forehead and those that are not sealed. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I believe that's what he was trying to warn us. The time has shedding has come for the whole world. And God says, my sheep, my sheep know my voice. And another one, they will not hear. And another, they will not hear. And God said, I have been warning and warning and warning for years and years and years that this day was going to come. But people begin to turn 
on one another. Christians begin to turn on Christians. And those that began to warn became less popular and popular. And those that began to say we are fear-mongering became more popular. And those that began to say the rapture became villains. And those that began to say there is no rapture became popular. And the Lord said, but my sheep... My sheep know my voice and they know this hour is upon them and they know this judgment is upon them and this judgment is great and God will not spare. He will not spare. He will not spare because he has been warning for years and all his judgments is righteous. They are just and they are true. And when I tell you that a lot of people is about to die in massive numbers, like I'm talking about an event that is going to wipe out a large thousands of people. And then as soon as that event ends, another event will come and wipe out thousands of more people. And the earth itself is going to lift up. I saw like a quick vision And I saw angels just flying, flying through the sky, just getting the children as I was praying. Get the children, save the children, save the children. The angels was just scooping up the babies and scooping up the little ones. And I was just saying, they're not going to understand this. They're going to be so afraid. You got to save the children. Uh, But I just wanted to share this because uh, I believe that God is sealing his children in the forehead and those that do not get sealed is about to be great suffering on the earth in massive numbers that you just wouldn't even believe beyond biblical proportions and I'm not trying to scare nobody and I'm not trying to make you believe me but I just left the throne room and I heard my Holy Spirit talking to the Father and they was in agreement and I know that this is coming and I know that this is coming soon sooner than we think we can't afford to play church people not even repenting people are clicking on these YouTube videos and they just go on about their life like they never heard it. the warning Oh my God. Oh my God. But the day the ground begin to lift up, it's like the earth is going to take revenge. I can't explain it. When I saw the angel flying through the sky, I saw one particular angel. It looked like he was flying through a city. And I don't want to say New York, but I just saw what looked like skyscrapers. It literally could have been any place. And I saw... That it looked like it was a night time. And like I think I saw like little lights on in the windows. Like if it's night you can see windows. And I just kept praying as I was watching this. Save the children. You got to save the babies Lord. You got to save the little ones. They're going to be too afraid. They're not going to understand this. You got to save them. Oh my God. I pray that you hear this. And you fall down. And you ask the Lord. Please to seal me in my forehead. Have mercy upon me. Take me up on the first resurrection. Do not leave me. We cannot be too proud to reverence the Lord. I kept hearing my spirit man and the Lord say that men don't reverence him anymore. Oh my God. The Lord was saying we don't reverence him anymore. We don't repent. We don't do anything. We don't cry out. We don't reverence him as the king of kings and the Lord of lords. There's no respect for him. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Man, man, man. Okay, okay. Ooh, that's, that, that was a lot. That was a lot to take in. Oh, yeah, yeah. Something as big is finna happen. Something big is finna happen. Oh my God.